um, print on this. Nice guy. And um, he got he got help from the speaker people. Yeah. Said it's all up in the first place. But the system it works, but it's, it tends to be a little bit more. Ah, that's to where we've got a bucket for it. Um, <laughs> so what happens to the old honeycomb? Have you just been that, that or? Yes, yes. the answer. Thank you. That's the thing, you have it on one site and you're interested in each end as well. Oh yeah, no problem about that. So we'll wait for a while, that gets a bit boring, we'll move over. Yes. Oh, bloody hell. You don't mind being videoed for a minute. You can um, be anonymous or you can be... We've got this uh, about three to one. Crack this. It was three kilos of sugar. Yes. To about 1.8 litres of water. Okay. Roughly. Right. So whatever that is as a ratio. Yeah, it's, uh, <coughs> I don't think you need to take that off, do you? Oh, no, uh, I think we're going to take no, the... Goes, sorry, yes, you're right. I think. Right. This is in the crown hole, yeah? yeah. Don't take it right off. No, I was about to. Okay. Oh, right. no. no. It's all right, too late. Take it off. Right. Don't, don't shut the hole off. Done? Yeah. Lid stays off. We need a super, don't we? Yes. So yeah, I'm trying to take the lid off. And that's it, done. And that shows, well, also makes it easier with more than one person. And there's one, there's one that's popped out here. You won't get much from the smoker. They can attack the smoker, can't they, and go down inside, yeah, I've yeah. found Oh, that. when they do that, you know you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you. Off. What have we brought the bucket for? Uh, that rubbish. Bits of things. Don't chuck the rubbish on the floor. Uh, put it in the bucket, dispose of it. You know, fire, whatever. It's got glass bricks, so you can look in this one. There's a beetle, but it's not a small white beetle, luckily. Quite a few bees in there, so that looks quite good. Started to build rice cone <coughs> shelter. Size of the rice cone and the top of the Started to build rice cone on the top there, so it probably means they might need a super on this one. It's got a bit of weight to it. Make sure the queen's not on the top, generally she wouldn't be, but it's the odd, odd time you'll find her on the top. You just lay that down the front. She was on the top, you just knocked it back down. Yeah, there. put her uh, yeah, put her in, knock her down in. Oh. Put her down there, you press it. Yeah, yeah. Could lose her. Yeah. She could fly off. 
Now when you remove the first frame, you have to see, you might want to move the second one, depends how much brace cone they've braced into the five Quite light, nothing on there, a bit of honey in there, a bit of nectar. So they are running out of space if they're on the last frame. Put that one down. That way. That's a bee sticking out. And that pull a boot, this one. Solid. Quite good, it's a bit of drone. Is that because it's nearer the centre? Yeah. yeah. But even, they're even filling that up with honey, so they definitely need the space. This frame's empty. Give the queen more room to lay, hopefully. What are you taking out? Just bits of rice come. Okay. So if you didn't do that and you waited for them to expand into that one, they'd presumably have to move all the pollen. Yes, well they use the pollen, the pollen up, but they, they yeah. come on, they're tight for space. Yeah. I'm just giving you a so bit So you're making more. things easier. Yeah. Well, I can only do this because that one's very straight. The frame itself? Well, yeah, the, 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 that one really needs some placing. Yeah, it's my biggest. Really needs some placing. Marked one, two, three, four, up to twelve. Oh, okay. oh, and then I mark them all on one side, mm -hmm. so then I know which way they go round. So when you rearrange them like this, then you've got to come and mark them again. No, I, I just so remember I mark them down on the sheet. Is anyone 
you know, go through the next one. In, they really need feeding. Otherwise they just chew the foundations to pieces. Is that what you think? Or did you find other problems with them? I didn't find any problems with them, but they didn't expand as people have suggested they found they chewed the foundation to pieces if you didn't feed them. There was so much foundation they could just take it from other places. And, and also you've got to have two lots of frame sizes obviously. Mm. So you need a bit more equipment. Or do you want to do a normal next door model to this one? Yeah, I'll, I'll smoke it. Yes, he was well, coming, right, but I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I might be totally wrong. Yeah, 
that you get to the stage that you're on the front. And how would you, what you would you do to the car? Did you go to all the turkeys? No, I didn't. Was it good? Yeah. 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 Over the years, I've had a reputation for being very stroppy. That's why Brett didn't want to have a look at Put your smoker on top of asphalt like that because you can melt a hole in it. Can I hold it for you? Yeah. Yes, please. It's got a hook on it, doesn't it? Sorry. There's nowhere to hook it onto, though, is no, there? Is asphalt a good covering? Because I have well, it's a cheap one, isn't it? Mine. Now, a lot of people cover the Porter B Escape hole up. I always leave mine open all the year round. I eat let's a bit of ventilation. And if in the summer you see bees coming up through it and they want to get into here, that's telling you they need more room. So you've either got to put a super on or replace some old brew frames. What have you got, Brett? What do you want to do? Well, uh, I've got a floor. So change the floor when you're ready. And if you um, want to do it afterwards or before. Are you changing the brew box as well? No. Just well, I've got a spare. I'll see how big it is. I think there's probably a lot of bees in there because they're all covered. I've got a super as well. So. Is that the Sorry? That was probably condensation. Which is probably telling us they might be bringing nectar in if there's condensation there. Um, okay. Now, this is I was explaining to somebody over there. This is the cold way, because there's the entrance. You've got no option with the, the, uh, the uh, blah, 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 straw. So you have to bend your, you've got to twist your back round. Right out loud. I like to lift that end, one end, put your fingers underneath it, and lift this end with the high tool. Zip it, gummed up completely. You wouldn't really expect to find a lot on the end one anyway, this time of year. Still got a bit of stores here from the winter. No, I lie. That's fresh. That's fresh stores. In theory, you have a peer, peer for the queen. You wouldn't really expect her to find her on the M1. What I would like is a cover cloth, please. Yeah. It's got a lot of nectar on it. No brood. 
Can we see in the bottom there it's glistening? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which we have is fresh nectar that they're bringing in. Mm -hmm. So obviously they're not going to starve. Also, with this Langstroth, you've got very sh you've got short lugs, so you've got less to get hold of. By using this, particularly in the summer, and later on in the summer, when nectar is getting a little short, short there's a lot of bees there, this just keeps them under control a little bit. stores, no sign of any brood there. We have brood now, okay, so we come across the brood nest. And without my glasses I couldn't see anyway. <laughs> Could we have the smoker please? Get at the ends. Okay. So this. Well, we've got pollen, nice brood nest, the occasional drone, sealed drone cell. Okay, now we have some young brood here. Not a lot. Any, anybody not seen the young brood? Let's cut with the sun. Can you come up round to my left hand side? So you'll get it from the sun. The bottom left hand corner. Uh, I lie. Bottom right hand corner. Can you see little white glistening pieces in there? No? Just a cluster. Let me find that again. I've only, I've only got two hands, unfortunately. Could somebody take hold, hold this corner for me? Can you take both? No, no. Just go, okay. Just here. That's earlier on. I'm happy to twist round here, and it's not doing your spine any good. Okay, we run out of brood nest. Just lots of stores. There'll be nothing on this side. Now I would be inclined personally. Do we know if this one's marked? No, I don't know if I want to. I'm going to leave this one out for the moment. Do we have a Langstroth frame with some foundation on it? just in case I need it. Because we've got to the end of the brood nest and to encourage the queen to expand, now this one has got nectar and mainly pollen. So it's all full up, so the queen's probably not going to go into there anyway. And 
what I would, when Brett comes with it, I'll, I should put another frame, the foundation in there, and, the, and then the bees will draw it out and it will be up near the brood nest. That's the one I, yeah, but this one's just got nectar. No, 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 no. the first one. one. Ah, yeah, but that's the one that came out from this end. Yeah, yeah but could you have repositioned that, because there's nothing in there? Well, no, you just might move it across well, and leave that one out. I should do something slightly different to what Brett does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They've certainly got lots of stores in here. Yeah, we're just looking at frames that they're just working on. And this one's probably got absolutely nothing on it at all. Good. Now this one you might say was half dirty anyway, okay? So what I'm going to do is shake the bees off it, and we're going to throw that one away. Now I never move all my colonies, all, all the frames rather, back over that way to get that one into there. <coughs> You're disturbing them all again. We know there's nothing, almost nothing on this. Bearing in mind we have this one here which is now a spare because we put a frame of foundation in there. Is that where a dummy board is coming? Had a dummy board? Move that to the right. Yes, yes. Yes, if this one was a dummy board here, you'd taken it out. Then you could put the dummy board in the back without moving the whole lot over again. This one's difficult to get back in. Because this one's this one's a bit mucky on the top. So that awkward arrangement of frames is because Sorry. of the, that awkward arrangement of frames you're saying you have to twist where it's yeah, purely yeah, because, because of the type of hive you, you would work your colony from the back yeah. of the entrance. Right. Well so why didn't you work from the side frame? Because actually at the top. Because it's well yeah, yes, you might argue that some you're near there as well. But um, I've got into the habit of always working from the back of mine because mine are in pairs and they're nationals, so I'm always working from the back. So a national hive will have those, those frames going the opposite. Well, you can have them the, have the, them the warm way, the cold way. That's entirely up to that's you. A, that's a personal. Yeah. Thing, I prefer right. mine to be the cold, uh, the warm, the warm way. Sorry, right, going across, that, that's right there, yeah. like that. Because you can just stand here and pick them up without twisting one's back. Yeah. Right. Now what do you want to do, Bet? Want the new floor on there?